Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Biased Unboxing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at both Bullet Palette and Bullet Paw. Expansions for the Bullet games that are super fun. We'll also see what came in with this, these uh, game cards and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay folks, as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. If you have, I really appreciate that support. All right, well, looking at the back, regrettably, you know, these things, I mean, it's it's an expansion, so you really can't see what you get except you know these four characters, and that's about it. Same thing with this one. So you see the four characters here. So it is what it is. All right, so let's take a look at what actually comes in these. And I'm doing them both at once just because I think they came in a set, so to speak. So I don't mind handling them this way. All right. Let's do the palette one first. Okay, so opening it on up, what do we have here? So we've got our usual deck of cards with the patterns and such. Let's take a look at these, look at the card quality. Okay, so these cards feel okay. You probably won't need to sleeve them if you're not a sleever like me. There's no texture, but they are pretty thick. So I think you're going to be all right. So as usual, they have no real art on them. It's all about the patterns. The art comes in the back, right? So you can see, you know, the characters there. Um, yeah, so there we go. And then, of course, the boss versions of them which is cool. All right. And when we look at here, we've got uh, wooden versions of these. So I'm sure this has to do with one of the, um, that's the 2013 catalog, one of the gameplay elements that I don't know yet, plus this die with a little happy face on it. Kind of interesting. Um, usually you get that on the the one side but they put on the two for obvious reasons because that's how it makes a smile all right they must <laughs> they must go with with that character right there somehow let's look at the character cards themselves here let's see okay fortunately mine got a little damaged i think in manufacturing a little ear whatever you call that earmarking maybe or whatever but these definitely look like the kinds of cards that you get from the base game and the other expansions. So you've got their information here and their boards and then, you know, what they're kind of what they're for as far as, you know, the normal and then the boss right there. So okay. interesting. All right, so we've got those, and then we have little stories, and the stories usually, I think it says the stories, yeah, and they talk about the gameplay, and whether they're difficult, easy, hard, whatever, um, and usually you get some kind of information on how their new abilities work, but I don't see too much there. Let's look at the other one now, the paw. Okay, the paw, here we have the cards split up into two decks. Another catalog. Let's take a look at these decks here. Probably just split from a standpoint I had to fit in the box. I don't think there's going to be anything, you know, unique or different about having two of them. Let's open this up. All right, so here we've got, uh, yeah, this, this looks like kind of a different, oh, look at that, that's cute. Um, a little bit of a different look to some of those cards. And then you got the pattern decks here for the different characters. And the boss. So there we go. All right, so we got that. And then we look at this one. And let's take a peek here. So, oh, come on. Here, open these cards. All right. Now on this deck, again the card quality is pretty good. 
I don't think you'll have to feel like you need to, um, you know, you need to sleeve them if you're not a sleever here. But here we've got these more boss stuff. Here's the pattern for that guy. And I've done reviews on this game before. If you want to see it uh, from a solo standpoint, the base game and the other expansions, really good game, tons of fun. I really enjoyed the lightness of this game and the challenge it brings. All right, so here we've got some. So this is the behemoth. I don't know, I've got two of that one. Maybe there's two different ways, or maybe I just got uh, two accidentally. It looks like I probably just got two accidentally in the box. I could be wrong. All right, and then let's take a look at these cards right here. Okay, so we've got our patterns and then the different uh, different bosses and people you can play with. So overall, just a really fun game. I highly recommend it if you like puzzly games that have a very fun flavor to them, but also a lot of challenge, no doubt about it. Hopefully these will fit. I think they'll probably fit into the base box. Now, let's see what was in this right here. So this is 99 Heroes. What do we get here with this? Happy gaming. All right, so here we've got, hold on, get it all out of the envelope. All right, we got a sticker. All right, little pumpkin bomb thing looking deal there. And then we got uh, some game rules. So I don't know what this is. Heroes, this must be a little, a different game that I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Well, these may be heroes from a different game that I just don't know. And that's totally possible because I don't have any other level 99 games. Uh, but I could be wrong. It just doesn't look like something that I understand. Yeah, it's probably for this 99 Heroes games. And I just got them from a bonus standpoint for these things. I, I don't remember paying for it. So um, what is this setup? Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm completely wrong. So this is its own game itself. And you use a 52 deck uh, cards removing the Jokers. So I got to check this out. Little, uh, that's fun. I didn't even know I was about to get that. Cool. That's what happens when you kickstart seeing things forever and ever ago and they finally show up. So, either way, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And whatever you decide to do in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.